Welcome to World Regional Geography. My name's Jack Livingston, and I will be your instructor online this semester. Uh, it's important to know who I am and to understand kind of how best to get hold of me. So first of all, again, I'm a professor at Sabrak University. I've been here for 20 years teaching this course. The easiest way to get hold of me in the summer is through email. You can see my email there. And you can also call and leave a message at the office number, 724-738-2897. Again, you see it listed there. Uh, the only downside of calling is that in most cases I won't check my voicemail more than once a day. Uh, emails come through pretty quickly, and so usually I'll get back to you within a few hours on those. The other thing that you'll notice there is our lizard point, which is going to be our place name quizzes. Uh, our class designation for that is a small case s, then period, world, underscore, reg, underscore, 19. Make sure that it, you use the case-sensitive way of entering that, and we'll get to that in a later video. Next, what I want you to understand is that this course is an online course through D2L. And so in doing that, you need to get used to, some of you may be very familiar with the D2L shell, some of you not at all. So I'm going to open that up real quick, go through the things that you'll see. And later on, again, each of these things, you'll have some more information in future video lectures. So let's open that up real quick. And this is what you're going to see as a student view. You'll come here. You'll notice um, if you're seeing this video, you've already uh, found the introductory lecture. Uh, link is there through YouTube. Then if you click on the content area, what you will see is that each of the modules is listed in the content area. You'll see modules 1 through the end of the course, East and Southeast Asia. And then you'll see that you're right now in the orientation section. Please note that in each one of these, you're going to see pieces below. For example, in the introductory section, you will look at the syllabus, the online textbook, and then again these mini lectures. You're also going to see quizzes and discussion topics and in some cases you may also see quick write assignments that go in the Dropbox. So that's really how the course works. Now the other piece that I want you to understand is these mini lectures. These are really perhaps the most important part of the class. These are going to be very short lectures. This is in fact the longest one you're going to listen to. And each of these lectures will consist of three to four slides that will introduce terminology and quiz questions. So in fact, what I'm trying to do in each one of these little lectures is give you a single topic, the terminology, and a way of applying that concept. So again, when you listen to these, please make sure you write down the information and think about them in that way, in terms of what does this mean, how does it apply to geography, and then how might it apply to our study of regions. The other thing that I will be introducing in these very briefly is ideas for the quick write assignments. Now, quick write assignments are two paragraph assignments that ask you to examine or apply an idea. So I might give you a map exercise to work with, an online visualization or a set of data or even a video to watch and I'm going to ask you to somehow respond to those. I'm not as much interested in the precision of your grammar although I would like you to really focus on writing carefully and succinctly but I'm primarily interested in your ideas how well you argue or conceptualize something. So again terminology from these mini lectures get the terminology look for quiz questions and I'll probably emphasize many of them and then again, think about it from the standpoint of your quick write uh, skills and tools. All right, everyone's interested in assessment. In other words, how do you pass the class? Well, it's fairly straightforward. You're going to take in each module a quiz. Those quizzes are worth 50% of your total grade. The quizzes are short answer almost exclusively. That is, I want you to respond to a question uh, demonstrate that you understand a concept. These will be graded usually within a day. Okay. Again, because they're not multiple choice, they don't grade automatically. Um, what will happen at the beginning is you will have a zero grade or a non-grade until I grade them. 
So don't panic if all of a sudden you have a zero in the grade book. You'll see that grade change within 24 hours. The other part of your grade, very, very small part of your grade, are what we call place name quizzes. That is, it is a geography class, and I want you to understand where we're talking about. The advantage of these place name quizzes, and you'll get to this in the lizard point uh, video, these are quizzes that you can take as many times as you want. All you have to do is get to a 70% and you get full credit. Okay, so you don't get 70%, you get 100%. It's either 100% or nothing, simply by taking them over and over and over and over again until you understand where these countries are. It's important for us to understand where something is that we're talking about. Too often today we hear things like Africa. Unfortunately, many of our politicians simply refer to the continent of Africa as if it were a country. And nothing could be further from the truth. We will begin to understand how the regions in Africa as a continent differ as much as we might see the regions of southern Europe differ from northern Europe. In other words, how different is Scandinavia uh, from the areas, the Romance or the Latinate regions of Europe is just as different as we might find Francophone West Africa from East Africa. So that's important to me. But again, I'm going to give you an unlimited opportunity to get those right. Then 40% of your grade is quick write assignments. As I said, these are two paragraph response uh, submissions. The reason I do it this way is that some people are very good at fairly objective content. Those are the module quizzes. Other people are much better at kind of critical thinking and synthesizing ideas. And so I balance those two together. And again, place name quizzes give you 10%. That's the wiggle room to move your grade up. And you also notice, though, if you cho simply choose, I don't, I don't want to take the place name quizzes. It's only 10% of your grade. If you choose and I just want to pass the class, you can probably get there with the other parts. I don't encourage that, but it's certainly part of the option. You decide where your grade ends up. All right. That's it for our introductory lecture. Please, as you move forward, if you have any questions, send me an email, uh, follow through the course content, and you will hopefully, I'm fairly confident, pass the class and enjoy what you learn.